We back, y'all. It's been a while, but we back. Um, I'm in the garage. Nora, she is finally taking a quick nap because I know she's about to wake up soon. I'm gonna try and get in some type of cardio before it's time to go back in the house and make dinner. So today I chose to do a resistance band workout. Um, I found this 15 minute workout by Fit by Mick on YouTube. I wanted to use equipment I already had and do a workout that didn't take long. I ended up choosing the 20 pound band and it started out really, really good. And then she starts squatting and then punching and things got a little tough. So uh, I went back and grabbed the, the, the 10 pound. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that ended up working out a lot better. I just wasn't quite ready for the, two, the 20 pounder, obviously. So got back to the workout. Now, I will say this workout challenged me. It definitely did. It was not as easy as I thought. I just assumed it was going to be an easy 15 minute thing, but it challenged me. Um, it was meant for full body. So I was able to kind of exercise all parts. The most challenging part was definitely getting down on the ground and working out my core. As you can see, my shirt says mom of three. I just had a baby five months ago and she actually was my third C-section. So my core is really weak and really sensitive. So I just have to give myself grace. I like to think that I am pretty strong for a woman or pretty strong period. But to be honest, when you start getting active, you start realizing how many muscles you don't use in your body. So it's definitely gonna be an uphill battle getting used to just being active and using all my muscles. So here's the part when she got down on the floor and she started doing like uh, crutches. <laughs> and I tried, I really did try. And as I was watching my video and editing it, I started getting discouraged. And I'm like, man, like I, I really am out here <laughs> with all this residue on my clothes from the resistance bands, my shoes leaning in, my gut hanging down. But I said, you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna edit this video, I'm gonna post this video because I do think I can still inspire someone but also continue to motivate myself. I know I'm not where I wanna be, but that's the whole point of starting this journey because with consistency and discipline and the motivation I've been having lately, I know that changes will eventually come. Nothing happens overnight. And the goal is to have a lifestyle change, not just a fad or not just a diet and not just like um, a health kick that won't last a long time. Because if I had a dime every time I started a health kick or a diet or a fad, honey, we'd be rich by now. You know, I was asked what makes this time different. And to be honest, I just have different motivators. I have kids and I owe it to them to try and prolong my life as much as I possibly can. I would hate to be taken away from my kids for reasons that I could control. And also the type of summer we had, we had a health scare with my husband. And if I didn't learn anything, you know, it's time for a change. The way we eat, um, you know, just being intentional about our physical activity and just being healthy. So if you've tuned in this far, I appreciate you. I ask that you go ahead and follow and subscribe to our page, both here on TikTok and on YouTube. And also leave a comment saying, keep going. And if I notice I'm not following you, I will be sure to follow you back because this is all about community and holding each other accountable. All right, y'all. Bye.